Welcome here to Talk FCB and it is now official that Lionel Messi will be staying at Barcelona for the coming season, but he is not happy and he has officially spoken. He's done an exclusive interview there with Goal and in that interview he has slayed Bartomeu. This is absolutely huge because Messi has left no stone unturned. Surely now there's no way out for the president. So let's discuss it in its entirety. Let's do it. Because let me start here with the big opening statement from this entire Messi situation, which this evening has finally come to an end with Messi staying at the club. But like I say, he's not staying because he wants to, but more because he's been forced to by Bartomeu, who quite frankly has gone back on his word. Messi says, I wasn't happy and I wanted to leave Barcelona. I have not been allowed this in any way, so I will stay at the club because I don't want to get into a legal dispute. The management of the club, led by Bartomeu, is a disaster. And that is not all either, because right throughout the interview with Messi here, he talks about the leadership or non-existent leadership from Bartomeu. He talks about the Champions League disasters that Barcelona have gone through and about his desire there for a new project, a new direction towards the end of his career. And about the fact that that has been stolen from him by Bartomeu, who, like I say, has stabbed Messi in the back. And we start here with Messi describing the way the season has gone and actually how early on he decided that he wanted to leave the club. He said it was a very difficult year. He said I suffered in training, in games and also in the dressing room. He said everything became very difficult for me and there came a time where I considered looking for new ambitions. He said I believe the club needed more young players, new players and I felt as though my time in Barcelona was over. He said I felt very sorry because I've always said that I wanted to finish my career here. He said it didn't come though because of the Champions League result against Bayern. He said no, I'd been thinking about the decision for a long, long time. He said I told the club, including the president, that I wanted to go. I'd been telling him that all year long, ever since the beginning of the year, and I believe that it was time for me to step aside. He said, I told the president, and the president always came back and said that at the end of the season, I could decide if I wanted to stay or if I wanted to go, and in the end, he did not keep his word. Throughout the year, I'd been telling him that I wanted to leave, that the time had come to seek new goals and new directions in my career, and he told me all the time, we'll talk, not now though, this and that but nothing came of it. The president didn't give me a clue as to what he was really thinking. And those words from Messi there, just explaining what we've all seen throughout the years and years and years of Bartomeu being in power at this club. The guy has no idea what he's doing. Messi then talked about the process there over the past week or so, whereby he sent that first Bureau of Facts telling the club that his contract had ended and that he was going to move on to a new challenge, and also the fact there that he didn't turn up the training. Messi said, sending the Bureau of Facts was making it official that I wanted to go and that I was not going to extend my contract for the optional year that I had the chance to do. He said it was not to make a mess or to go against the club, but it was more of a way to make it official because I'd made my decision. The truth is, there has been no project or anything at this club for a long time. They juggle and cover holes as things go by and as I've said before I've always thought about the welfare of my family and of the club. So Messi there again saying what we've all been seeing throughout these many years of Bartomeu there is no project. They've actually been using Messi himself to cover up their failings for such a long time now and quite clearly Messi's thinking now no more. I am not going through this anymore. I want to move on. And he told Bartomeu that. And not just recently either, but many, many months ago, he's had time there to digest them, to stand that decision. But still, he forces Messi to stay here. Messi went on to talk about the Champions League and the disappointments that he has suffered over the past few seasons. He said, I've always said that I wanted to compete at the highest level, to win titles, to compete there in the Champions League. He said, you can win or you can lose in it because it's a very difficult competition, but he said, you have to at least compete. Let us not fall apart like in Rome, in Liverpool, in Lisbon. All that led me to think about my decision that I wanted to carry out for that new challenge. He said, I thought and I was sure that I was free to leave. 
The president always said that at the end of the season, he would let me decide what my fate would be. But now they cling on to the fact that I didn't see it before June the 10th. When it turns out that on June the 10th, we were competing for the La Liga title in the middle of this awful situation with the coronavirus, a disease that has altered the whole season. And this is the reason why I'm going to continue at the club. I have to continue at the club because the president told me the only way to leave was to pay the 700 million release clause and that is impossible. Messi did say though and he did admit the only other way to actually get out of the club was to go to trial and I would never go to court against Barca because it's the club that I love. It's a club that have given me everything since I arrived. It's the club of my life. They gave me everything and I've given it everything so it never crossed my mind to take Barca to court. Hence why I'm staying. And I think there from Messi, it's certainly very honourable, it's certainly respectful, basically what we expected from him. We know that he loves the club, we know that he would have there the best intentions, not only for him, not only for his family, but he would think about the club too during this entire situation, and their fair play. He could easily take the club, he could take Bartomeu to court, and I'm sure his lawyers there would feel as though they had a good chance of winning, given the situation in his contract. But no, he's saying there, it's the club of my life, Barca have given me everything, and for that reason, I will stay one more year, basically, because Bartomeu is a liar and a coward. And I think where it really got quite sad and quite emotional when it came to Messi, they're talking about the decision, talking about the things that have been happening over the past week or so, was when he actually started talking there about his family, about the way there they've been making that decision, trying to digest exactly what was going on. He said, when I communicated my wish to leave with my wife and children, it was a brutal drama. He said, the whole family began crying. My children didn't want to leave the city. They didn't want to change schools. He said, Matteo is still literally doesn't realise what it means to go somewhere else and live a few years in a different place. He said Tiago though, he's older. He said he heard something on TV, he found out about something and he was asking questions. He said I didn't want him to know anything about being forced to leave, to live in a new school or to make new friends. He said Tiago, he started crying to me and Messi said it was a really, really hard situation and Messi said it was understandable. It happened exactly the same way to me. It's difficult to make that decision to move away and he did say though, I love Barcelona and I'm not going to find a better place than here anywhere in the world, but still, I felt as though I had the right to decide. My son, my family, they grew up here, they're from here. There was nothing wrong though in wanting to leave. I felt I needed it, the club needed it, and it was good for everybody. But like I say, Bartomeu the man who stopped all of this happening, he's been insistent upon that 700 million euro clause. You couldn't even give a club legend, a club icon, the best player in our history. You couldn't give him the chance to decide what he wanted to do for the good of his own future. And for that and everything else that you put us through, you are a disgrace. Of course, though, not only focusing on the present, but also on the future. Now, of course, there are going to be questions about what sort of Lionel Messi we are going to see in the coming months over the course of the new season. Is he going to be motivated there to play for Barcelona, playing under Bartomeu, if he somehow survives even this situation? Messi said there, I will continue at Barca and my attitude will not change. No matter how much I've wanted to leave, I will still do my best. He said, I always want to win. I'm competitive. I don't don't like to lose anything. I always want the best for the club, for the dressing room and for myself. He said, I said it at the time that we were not given the support to win the Champions League. He said, I said that several times and now I don't know what will happen. I don't know what's going to happen this season. He said, there's a new coach. There'll be new ideas. That's good. But now we have to see how the team responds and whether or not we can compete at the very top level. What I can say is that I'm staying and I'm going to give my best for Barcelona, no matter whether I stay or whether I go in the future, my love for Barca, it will never change. And so those there were the extended words of Lionel Messi in that interview with Goal all about his future. And I think it's really, really refreshing there to see somebody come out. And after everything we've been through, because we have been right the way through this saga, we've been one way, then the other, we haven't really known where to turn. And it's so, so refreshing now to see Messi come out and honestly, just set the record straight. I really, really appreciate that. I think we've all wanted that clarity since the second this entire situation began. And it really, really helps us not 
only now to move forward, but also for the good of the club. Messi here clearly wanted to go, but now he's also put all of these problems, he's expressed the true feelings there on Bartomeu, all out into the public domain. We can all see now what a terrible president and an even worse person that he is. And like I say, surely now, surely he can't survive this. The motion of no confidence is still going on. You would imagine there the Sochis would be out in their numbers right now, getting their signatures on that motion, because there's no way, there is simply no way that after all this, he can be allowed to continue. Bartomeu has to leave, because as Messi said, there's been no project, there has been no leadership, and Barca, under Bartomeu, it's a disaster. So please do leave your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. There is so much right now to actually get your head around. We have been through absolutely everything over the past seven days or so. And honestly, just let me know right now what you're feeling. The words there from Messi, how you respond to that, how do you feel there about what he's going through right now? What are you expecting somehow looking ahead to the new season? Let me know all that stuff. And of course, there is going to be plenty more videos coming up, both here and on More Talk FCB, discussing the complete fall from what Messi's just said. I will see you then with plenty more to come. But until next time, as always, Vishka El Barca. Oh.